Um, I think it's something you guys would like to know is about the final night and all I can say is the one thing I told myself before going to Miss Universe was regardless of the outcome if I did everything I could and if I am happy with my performance I need to be content with whatever the outcome is and it was hard to accept it wasn't something I expected um, I'm still trying to understand and there's obviously not a certain answer I'm going to get at this moment um, everything happens for a reason and that's literally the only thing I can look at is saying there's a reason why I didn't make it to top 21. It's not something I understand currently. It's not something I expected to happen. It was it was extremely hard standing there and knowing that South Africa did so well for three years. Um, but I gave everything and I'm proud of myself for standing there and I overcame so many things that I struggled with for such a long time. Um, when I look at my Miss Universe interview, uh, they asked me, what's the one thing that I learned about myself this past year and during this pandemic? And it just took me back to Miss South Africa saying that I actually learned how to, how to embrace my vulnerability, how to put myself out there regardless of what the outcome is. And I can't go around saying to people that when I don't fully believe it so I have to accept that I've put myself out there and that was more than enough and in five years time I will understand why and I'll understand why things didn't work out like I wanted it to um yeah it's just everything went like I wanted it to go so I'm answering this for like five minutes this is gonna be Okay, let me quickly just get it. Ooh. Get a tissue. Oh, I'm going to acknowledge this one simply because I cannot say thank you enough. Um, that's the only thing I wanted to do was make you guys proud. And, and if I did that, I'm happy. Sorry for crying, guys. I've been emotional for the last few days. Not because things didn't turn out um, the way I wanted it to, simply because I can't believe how people are just sharing love and support towards me. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm going to read your comments. Shanae says, we miss you. I miss you guys. I really miss you guys a lot. I can't wait to get back to South Africa. <laughs> One thing I actually want to share with you guys. Um, so Demi went, okay, came to um, Miss Universe to share some part of her unbreakable campaign and with the human trafficking. And one thing I can remember from her presentation was it's turning your mess into a message and turning your taste into a testimony. And that's something that will forever stick with me is throughout this journey, you don't always know the why but it's simply part of the way God has paved my life and um, if I think it's been a year since I entered, entered for Miss South Africa and I remember I spoke so many times with Vadnet about um, putting yourself out there it was really hard for me to do that being vulnerable was one of my biggest struggles and now it's something I'm so comfortable with doing and that's exactly why I wanted to do this live is to show you that things don't always go as planned and I want to make you a part of this journey because you've been there every single step of the way and I want to share with you every single step after that and what I'm going to do next and my journey going forward because it doesn't stop here it doesn't end here and there are some days <laughs> that I cry and I feel sorry for myself but then there are days where I'm so filled by this and I'm so inspired with the next thing I want to do and take on and share with you guys and bring you along with um, I don't want to stop with destiny designed um, I'm going to start immediately with my clothing line when I get back. I want to do a ready-to-wear collection, do more modeling work. Um, I'm really excited for what's ahead. Um, what are my goals? So I'm seeing here what are my goals after everything. Let me just take that one away. 
Um, like I said, I want to start with my clothing line. So actually, before I got appointed Miss Universe South Africa, I went to the fabric shop and I sourced some fabrics for my ready-to-wear collection. I want to do tops, jumpsuits, all that type of stuff, do an online shop. And now I can actually pursue that. So one step at a time, um, I'm going to Jacksonville after Missouri and then I'm flying back to South Africa. Mm -hmm. 